You might have seen this advertising, especially on social media. Teacup, micro, or even nano pigs. Customers pay anywhere from $300 to $5,000 for them. But there are complaints that pigs outgrow those promises. Come here, pork chop. They are cute, cuddly, and with this face, possibly irresistible. That was the case for Brianna Tinsley, who bought her pig online for $1,000. She was promised her pig would stay a teacup forever. It's embarrassing. It makes me feel kind of foolish because I didn't, I didn't do my research like I should have, and I usually do. I think I just got so excited. When Tinsley received her mini pig, Otis, she didn't know he was actually dying from starvation. A very costly visit to the vet confirmed that the breeder was deliberately keeping the piglet small and lying about his eventual weight. He grew within the first three months to what she said would be his max, 30 to 35 pounds. And now five years later, he's 120 to 125 pounds. So Otis now lives with 560 other pigs at the Ironwood Pig Sanctuary near Tucson. And that number is growing. I have seen it dramatically increase in the 15 years that we've been here. And uh, we, we used to be able to keep up with it. We can't anymore. The sanctuary says 70% of the pigs taken in last year were simply not wanted anymore, most due to false mini pig claims. They should be shut down. The breeders should be shut down. They should not be allowed to continue breeding these animals. There are thousands of them going without homes. The growth is so rapid that there's now an American Mini Pig Association to help regulate the industry. Ashley Ockrey is an AMPA breeder. I thought that it sure did seem like there was a need for some more um, reputable, responsible, ethical breeders to help educate the world about what miniature pigs really are. Tinsley learned a painful lesson. Sad, like I gave up on him. If you do get a pig, make sure you have a lot of love in your heart because they get attached to you too. I've spoken to the Department of Agriculture, the Humane Society, and Animal Services. They all say it is not required to license or register pigs. So if you are interested in buying a mini pig, do your homework and really get to know the breeder beforehand. In the Broadcast Center, Lauren Michaels, Cronkite News.